Egg and sperm travel in opposite directions to meet in, most often, the fallopian tubes. During ovulation, ovaries release an egg into one of the fallopian tubes, and the egg proceeds down the tube toward the uterus, which is being prepared for possible implantation. Part of this preparation involves elevated levels of estrogen and luteinizing hormone LH. LH triggers the ovaries to release the egg, while higher blood estrogen levels stimulate the vaginal membrane to secrete glycogen, which is then metabolized to lactate. This lowers vaginal pH to as low as 3.8, creating an acidic environment hostile to pathogens like the ones that cause sexually transmitted infections. However, this environment can also be toxic to sperm, though the semen, a basic fluid, can buffer the vaginal acidity to preserve sperm cells. As the semen mixes with the vaginal secretions, the pH settles at a point that is not harmful for sperm, and this new environment is the trigger to activate sperm flagella and increase sperm's motility. Only about 1 in 1 million sperm that are ejaculated into the vagina will reach the site of fertilization. Estrogen also relaxes the cervix, causes cervical mucus to become watery and more alkaline, and stimulates uterine contractions, all of which help sperm penetrate and navigate the female reproductive system. Relaxing the cervix allows sperm to pass from the vagina into the uterus and reduces a potential physical barrier. Cervical mucus may prevent sperm from passing into the uterus, but during ovulation when the egg is released from the ovaries, the mucus gets thinner and lower in pH. These changes make the mucus a great transport medium for the sperm, and help the sperm continue traveling. The uterine contractions actually help to push sperm toward the correct fallopian tube, and recent studies have suggested that these contractions are more responsible for sperm movement than the sperm's own propulsion mechanisms. As we can see, the progress of sperm is really influenced by where in the menstrual cycle the female is. The closer to ovulation, the easier it is for sperm to pass. Scientists think this may be to conserve energy and resources, if the female isn't ovulating, then there's no target for the sperm, so it makes more sense to focus on protection against pathogens. The vagina and uterus are very susceptible to infection, so the body has to balance on a fine line between protecting these areas and allowing sperm to come through. If you like this video please like and subscribe. Thank you.